okay. What I was just saying now was that look, most of us are just being crafty, especially the biologists, right? You recreate the natural environment and deceive the fish in quotes to think it's natural environment to make things happen right in your in your compound. For catch is about five five things, five to six. The fourth decision is to give the impression, is to give the impression that there is food, and the food is the um, plantings. The plantings. plantings. When water goes over dry, the floor goes over dry grass. Yes. But between the third day to week, week two, uh, week two, I know. By the second or third week, you have paramecium from there. Paramecium is what phytozooplankton will eat. Yeah. Things like uh, Daphnia, yeah. Moina, yeah. and the rest kind of. So the no food is guaranteed. That was before the male catfish would even go and mess around the female. The number two reason is because the male guy knows that there is a there's there's a place for the egg to stick to. The yes. stubborn grass will stay and there's water of overflowed water around it. So when the eggs come out from the tummy of the female, the first thing is to stick to the to, uh, to the to the to the to the, to the, to the, to the grass, to the standing grass. Yes. So it's sure. Number three reason why the male, the female will even allow him to come near him. Okay. Just like a, a, a fine girl will not allow a, a primary three boy to come near him now because you know, he hasn't got all the, all the criteria to be yes. an husband, isn't he? Yes. So the third reason is the dark environment. If you swim in the swimming pool, you can see almost about three meters away. Yes. But if you swim inside flooded water, it's brown like bone vita, right? Yes. You, know, so you can't even, even see. So you need that dark environment yes. for a catfish baby because most people spawn in open air yes. and they end up bringing out blind cats. Yes. But thank God they have whiskers that they used to see. That's the third reason why the cat will not even do that. What the male cat will not do, you are not doing that's careless. Oh so you have fishes that don't respond to food on time and say you must have floating feed by all costs. Oh no way. If the cat has eyes, it will know that this food is going down yeah. and it goes to eat it. Oh so it's our own doing that wasn't floating food, floating, floating food. Then number four, number four, number four reason why the, 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 the male would even allow the, the female is the fact that once rain falls, just like all of us too, if you read OA Lawa economics mm -hmm. book, mm -hmm. that Population increases mm -hmm. around is it January, February or so mm -hmm. when people are kept inside their house during the rainy season. Yes. Husband and wife are together just looking, doing oh, nothing. Okay. What's going to do? <laughs> are you getting me? So when the weather is cold, the cat, the pituitary of the brain of a female catfish yes. will double of all cat, both male and female, yes. will double. If you don't know what you call pituitary, that's the same thing that makes this cameraman to start growing beards and mustache. That turns from a boy to a man, a man. and turns a girl. To a fine lady, yes. right? Someone. So what, once it doubles up the hormones, so once the pituitary doubles up, then action begins, and it's the cold weather that makes that happen. So what do we do as scientists now? Yes. The first thing is to kill a donor yes. to actually tell the female catfish, "Come on, it's raining. Yes. It's time for you to allow the boy to, to mate with you." Yes. Then number two, you get uh, this spawning mob. So let you know, look, there's grass or a stubborn grass yes. by in the river. Yes. Number three, you prepare your brain shrimp, right? Or your Daphne. I said there's food already. <laughs> you make the environment dark to make them think as if it's in the flood. Human beings. Thank God we hire animals. Well. Yeah. Wait, but it's, it's good for us because when the catfish gives back too, you still find out that the majority, of, out of 30,000, yes. only about maybe 20, 20 will survive. Will survive. Yes. Too many, everybody's the enemy. Frogs, toads, oh, you know, yes. all the dangerous fishes and corner. So for you to survive, know. you know, you know the meaning. It's crazy. It's like that for us too now. I hope you know that yeah. you yeah. alone can fight Africa now. Yes. yes. They say yes. from you. One man's ejaculate can actually have 830 million farm cells, right? Wow. Yes. If they take it and inseminate, this guy recording for me can actually father populate of Africa. Af 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 Africa. Africa. <laughs> so I wonder, so we're so lucky that I have survived. Uh, yes, sir. Now you survive. You're even selfish. You're not yes, a twin. Sir. Yes. Now that you allow a triplet. Yes, sir. Look, I think it's an option. Yeah. You imagine the rest. I'm a twin. <laughs> oh, you're a twin. I'm a twin. Oh, okay. He's generous. I'm generous. <laughs> Two out of 830 30 million plus. <laughs>